Hello, Ross here at Frothy. This is the Kona Lava Dome. Let's jump straight in. Price point, £700 or £699 technically. This is a medium frame 29 inch wheel bike and this one weighs in at 14.6 kilos. Micro shift 9 speed on the rear there with a clutch rear mech and it's 1146 tooth with a 28 tooth up the front there chain ring. Hydraulic Tetra brakes, 100mm travel spring front forks with a lockout. These are from Sun Tour. Quick release wheels and the tyres, uh, you could get all tubeless these if you really wanted to, but I don't suggest it. Yeah, I would stick with tubes with this kind of bike, this kind of setup. Where else are we covering? Dropper seat post. You can fit a dropper seat post to this. It has got the frame routing, so down in the down tube, back out at the bottom there, back in there's a rubber grommet here. But they send you a secondary rubber grommet in the packet when it's new, and you can put a stealth dropper seat post in it, not a problem. The saddle that it comes with, this is made by WTB, so it is a reputable saddle company, just with the word Kona stamped on it. They are nice and comfortable. I do suggest trying the saddle out before you change it out for something else. Like I say, 9-speed rear cassette, 11 to 46. Did I say 46? Yeah, 46. Clutch rear mech as well. Micro shift, not as reputable as Shimano. I've only been selling these for a couple of years, so I can't tell on longevity-wise what these are going to be like. But short term, from what we've sold, they've not had any issues with these um, coming back to us. Because they're a lesser known brand, they're not any worse off. Little clutch uh, switch here, so that's the clutch on just now. So the clutch kind of allows the chain to move a little bit, but doesn't let it get too slack. And you flick the clutch off. This You can switch it on and off to remove the back wheel. When it's off, you'll see that the chain can can get a fair a fair wobble on it so always leave it on when you're riding a bike square taper bottom bracket it's quite a heavy bottom bracket fitted to it being square taper it's a solid cast axle that runs through the frame with bearings they are bomb proof they're really cheap to replace 11 to 18 pounds roughly speaking most bike shops in the world carry square taper bottom brackets so it's a good point in my eyes um, square taper or holotech 2 are the two kind of bomb proof bottom bracket setups that i prefer to to have on bikes 175 mil cranks the downside to these cranks is that the chain ring and the crank are one piece so when you do wear the chain ring out it's a kmc chain that comes when the chain ring wears out you're going to have to replace the whole crank arm at the same time the hydraulic brakes that come with it tetro mineral oil these are fairly decent these are probably about 80 pounds for a set of these brakes on the marketplace just now they run with a, a 180mm disc on the front and a 160mm disc on the back. These are six bolts, so if you're upgrading them, remember it's six bolt. Uh, and this is not centre lock, bear that in mind. Tetro two pots on the front and rear. They're a good starting point. When you buy this bike out of the box, um, straight, that's a European bike, so the brakes are the wrong way around. If you buy it from a reputable um, online supplier or face-to-face -face from your local bike shop, they will switch the brakes over for you. The barbs need to be switched over and they would need to be bled as well to make sure the brakes are running fine. If you buy it in a box from an online supplier and they've not switched the brakes over, you don't really have a warranty claim on it, Just they've just chosen not to switch it to UK standard. Um, there's no legality side of it from there. But you can always just phone up and ask. Some of the online retailers do take it out of the box. They check the gears, they check the brakes, they check the tyres, then rebox it and send it off to you. Yeah, so just phone up and ask about that. There's a micro shift, 9-speed shifter up the top here. Again, I've not had any major issues with this coming back either so just trying to reassure you that the micro shift even though it's not as known a brand um, we've not had any major issues with them i don't see them any lesser quality just now so far than shimano at the current point it's a solid kona um, seat post that comes in it as well just to bear that in mind uh, if you want to upgrade to a dropper around about 150 170 pounds for a dropper seat post from brand x they work absolutely fine for this kind of bike. This is a really good entry level bike for you. If you're just starting off mountain biking, 700 pound hydraulic disc brake with lockout, nine speed. You can't really go wrong with it. It does come with pedals, but when we weigh the bikes and store them in the display, we don't put pedals on them. Frame mounts, you've got bottle cage, down tube bottle cage on the seat post, and you've got the ability to put a rear pannier rack on it. If you did want to pannier rack this and run it more on the road as a commuter bike, there's plenty of mountain points here for it as well as a rear mudguard. The rear bridge down here at the bottom bracket is threaded with a hole in the back of it. You could zip tie to this bridge up here or a good mechanic would be able to put a, a rib nut in there for you um, and run a rear mudguard for you. Front mudguard would have to be uh, strapped onto the, the forks, but I digress, it's just a good all-rounder bike. The zip ties, like I say in most of my videos, these little plastic tabs that come with holding the cables to the frame take them off, you can see the far away one has, has went missing, sitting on our display, so we take them off and replace them with zip tires, strongly suggest that, the cable's flapping about, the noise is a bit irritating, but also the way the cable's rooted on this bike, if it does touch the back tire and it comes loose from this point here, 
there's a good chance you'll damage the cables when it touches the back tyre. So try and put a, a zip tie in place for that there. Hope I've covered everything, folks. If there's anything I've missed, leave a comment below. We're trying to get better at this. I'm trying my best to talk fast, get all the information out so you're not bored watching YouTube. Thanks for watching. Cheers.